Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this is Intuition Angel 444, getting ready to read for the sign of Gemini right now. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Keep in mind, this is just a general reading, so this may or may not resonate. Uh, love readings could resonate for the workplace. They could resonate for at home with your family, friends, um, connections that you have in business, okay? So this doesn't necessarily have to be romantic. Put yourself where you belong in the story. Take what resonates, least what doesn't. Um, check your birth charts. Energies can be reversed. Time is fluid. And everything else about this reading will be in the description box below, including on how to contact me for a personal, okay? So I need three cards from the universe for Gemini. There's three cards from the universe for Gemini right now. Someone rising and Venus sign. All right, so one card we have is, there is nothing sexier than my authentic truth. I know that's right. Being authentic. Okay. What else for Gemini? Someone rising, thank you. My vibes speak louder than my words, yeah. Yep, yep, that's what I was getting to. You don't have to speak, right? You don't have to um, say anything to anybody. Your vibes speak louder than your words. You can walk in the room and be happy, and everyone else will be happy. For no reason. Why? Because you're authentic. All right. One more for Gemini. Someone rising in Venus signs. Thank you. The moment I embrace my peace within and surrender the outcome is the moment that the universe can truly get to work. Yeah, because I, I really think you're starting to master that. Um, this part of manifestation, the part where you realize that if you walk around unhappy, you're not going to get what you want in life. If you walk around bitter, you're not going to get what you want in life. If you walk around smiling at everyone you see, even if you don't know them, or going above and beyond at the workplace just to put a smile on someone's face or to help someone out, Gemini, um, you're starting to learn how to manifest um, the concept of what you put in the universe you get back. The universe gets to work and works in your favor once you act like this. I don't know if you realize that or not. But this is your energy right now and the universe is starting to put things in line for you um, and blessing you because of your vibes, not your words, not your um, actions. It's your vibes, right? I'm hearing something about you know, like um, when people talk to you, when people talk to you, it's not your words that you're saying to them. It's the vibe that it's what it's not what you say is how you say it. All right, Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. What do we have for Gemini? What is the energy right now for Gemini? Someone is coming towards you pretty fast. They see you as someone um, very stable. Oops, I'm dropping cards. Sorry. They see you as someone very stable. They want to come in and message you, I'm hearing. You could be walking away from this person here, Gemini. But they're going to chase right after you because you're their happiness. Give me four cards for this reading for Gemini. What is the energy for Gemini in this reading? Four cards for Gemini. Someone rising and Venus signs. Thank you. Temperance. What else for Gemini? Someone rising. Thank you. What else for Gemini, please? Someone rising and Venus signs. Okay, so four cards. So we have temperance here. We also have the three of wands. We have the four of swords with the four of cups. Okay. So I feel like this person around you, they see you as like a, they see you as very balanced. You're very patient. You could have been waiting on something here, and then you got tired of waiting. So I feel like this person sees this as a missed opportunity. They want to heal it. They could be waiting on something on you, and it's like you, you're, you're healing right now. I feel like you're in this healing energy, and I, I think it gives off the wrong vibe to this person. I feel like this person feels like you don't want them anymore, and that's only because you're trying to heal. That's what I'm getting. We have two fours, a three, and we got temperance. So... I feel like this person was just waiting on you. Yeah, you're healing. You're healing very well, too. 
very fast. You're a fast healer is what's going on. Um, something happened in your situation, Gemini, to where you... What's the word here? Something happened in your situation and sort of woke you up out of your sleep or something and realized that you got to heal something about yourself. But it has to do with this situation. It has to do with this relationship here because I feel like this person maybe had you waiting and you're just like, you know what? I'm not a waiting person anymore. I'm just going to heal that part about myself. Let's clarify temperance for Gemini. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Why is temperance here for Gemini? All right, so we have the seven of pentacles here. Someone wants to fix something with you and they want to invest with you. I feel like they're analyzing the situation here. All right, let's clarify it. Why is the seven of pentacles here for Gemini? All right, so we have the five of wands in the reverse. It came out in the reverse. Um, I just feel like this person knows that they will, they're very conflicted. It's like they're wondering what the heck you're doing here. We have the Seven of Pentacles here with the Five of Wands. This could be a lot of mental energy. You know, the Five of Wands, the Wands represents, you know, passion. The Pentacles represents money. But I'm really getting that this has a lot to do with someone's head, their own mind here. They're watching you heal and they're like, wonder, they're wondering like what's going on here. They're very conflicted. Their mind is going in all sorts of directions on how to maybe invest. All right, let's clarify it. Five of Wands, please, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Yeah, the Six of Swords. I feel like you're moving away from all this. You're moving away from all this conflict here. Two of Cups at the bottom here. I feel like they could be moving away from some sort of conflict too, to come towards you. They have to figure out a way. To, okay, so the way for them to fix the situation, they realize that they have to move away from somebody, Gemini, and come towards you. That's what I'm seeing here. Because they're worried. I feel like they're they're getting sort of anxious. I'm not seeing Nine of Swords, but they're getting anxious because you're moving away. And you're leaving them here with all these people that don't know what the... Or it could just be one person, but you're leaving them here with nothing but fights and quarrels. As you should, but this is how they, this is how they feel about you. This is how they... They think that you're doing this to them. You're just leaving them there with this, these people. Clarify the three of wands please for gemini or you're leaving them there with their own conflicting issues about themselves we have the moon card here this person is in some sort of fear as they wait could be you or them but someone is in some so sort of fear as they wait um it's like they're trying to find their intuition but they can't it's like they're waiting for some sort of clarity but they fear that maybe it's not going to come in clarify the moon card here for gemini Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. The Knight of Wands. Okay, so there's so... Okay. <laughs> Gemini, there was some cheating involved. And this person was, you know, happy-go-lucky with it. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're, they're trying to have some fun. Um, and then they gaslighted you. They came back around and they gaslighted you. There's a lot of fights, a lot of quarrels in this situation. Yeah, there's some deception going on here. Clarify the Knight of Wands, please, for Gemini. Someone rising and Venus signs, Knight of Wands. Yeah, Justice. I feel like they want to make things right. It's like they're trying to wait on the right time to make things right, but I'm also getting a, a vibe where they feel like things aren't fair. They feel like something isn't fair here. Why can't I be the Knight of Wands? It's not fair. It's like that energy here. It's like they want to come in passionately and try to fix it, though, but their energy is just, like, so uh, combative. Clarify the Four of Swords, please, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Why is the Four of Swords here for Gemini? I feel like you put this to rest. Yeah, we have the Three of Pentacles here. Um, you put to rest working with this person, and you stop giving them attention. You could have been, okay. They really want to heal this, though. They feel like they can't, though. I, why am I feeling like they can't do it? Clarify this three of pentacles, please, for Gemini. Someone rising and Venus signs. It's like they fear something. Yeah, we have the ten of pentacles. So this person does see something as a ten of pentacles. Oh, okay. 
Okay, this is another story that I'm getting, Gemini. If we're dealing with a third party situation here, this person wanted to heal something with that third party and that's what's making you not want to deal with this situation anymore. That's the story that I'm hearing. They could have children with this person. They could have some sort of a house bill situation. You know, something that they try to heal something with, and it had to do with money. It had to do with money. And this person, I'm just getting a vibe that they're just like really, they did something too fast with these people. Clarify the 10 uh, pentacles, please, for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Yeah, the nine of pentacles here. I feel like they really want to work with you too. They really, they want to work with both of you. If that makes any sense. I don't think you want that though. I think you're going to not deal with this person because they're in and out. They're going to this person. They're coming back towards you. It's causing fights maybe with this person and you, Gemini. Clarify the Four of Cups, please, for Gemini. Someone rising in Venus signs. Why is the Four of Cups here for Gemini? A missed opportunity, that's why. Yeah, some clarity came in. It came in the reverse, so there was some sort of lie being told about the situation, but you got the clarity. You got the clarity. You got the truth about the situation, and I feel like um, you laid it to rest. This is a missed opportunity for them. Let's clarify the Ace of Swords, please, for Gemini. Someone rising in Venus signs. Yeah, the High Priestess. You followed your intuition, girl. You followed your intuition about this. A secret came out. Which led to... Oh, goodness gracious. <sighs> a secret came out. About the situation. You got clarity and, and you said, you know what? I don't want this anymore. You followed your intuition, though. I feel like you're very spiritual right now and you're healing. You just know all. You know everything right now, Gemini. And this person is kind of conflicted about that. They don't like the fact that you know everything. Let's clarify the High Priestess for Gemini. Someone rising in Venus signs. Yeah, the Ten of Wands. They don't like that you, that you know everything because it's so burdening to them. It burdens them that you know everything. They can't stand to have someone that knows what the heck is going on all the time? Let's clarify this ten of wands, please. It's like it's too much work for them to be happy. Yeah, it's like, okay. You make them happy, though. And they're starting to follow their intuition about you, too. But they got to realize that when they're dealing with the high priestess, and I think that's your energy, it's going to be hard work to pull the wool over the high priestess' eyes. That's all I'm saying. You want this? You want the Ten of Cups cross watcher? Or you want to keep doing this devil energy here? That's going to end up being flipped back over anyway because there's no devil when the High Priestess is involved. The High Priestess knows all. Right? You can't mess with a High Priestess. The High Priestess makes the devil sit down and be quiet all every, every single time. There's a meme out there that looks just like that. I got to figure out where it's at and I'll post it. I promise. But you want this or you want the Ten of Cups? cross watcher or Gemini whoever's in this position whoever's doing the toxic energy here either spirit is going to force this devil energy out of your life for your happiness because you know better you know that this toxic energy is not healthy or you're going to end up doing it you'll, you'll do it yourself I feel like some of you might just do it yourself because it's not worth trying to trick this person here okay there's a person here that I guess people think that they're not smart. And um, once you play like that, the divine is going to sit you down. The divine is going to make you have several seats, especially when you're dealing with the high priestess here. Especially when you're dealing with someone who's healing too. Like, are you kidding? All right, what's going on with Gemini? Someone rising in Venus signs. It's too much work to fool the high priestess. What's going on with Gemini? What's going on with Gemini? Thank you. You deserve love. You are lovable. Yeah. Gemini deserves love. Or whoever's the high priestess here deserves this love. And she knows what she deserves. So she's not going to sit here and make it seem like... Some, 
you can't, what's the word I heard? You can't pee on Gemini's leg and tell her that it's raining. She knows what she deserves. What's going on with Gemini? What's for Gemini, please? Thank you. Calling in your soulmate. It's safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energies of all. And then we have calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you guys together. So I feel like right now, um, Gemini, that's for you right there. I feel like you guys are in this healing energy. It's going to manifest either a new love or it's going to manifest this person here. Once you stay to yourself, it's going to call this person in. And it's going to make this person realize that it's safe for them to love you here. I don't know why they were in and out though. Whatever it was, it was very toxic. It had to do with another third party. It had to do with money. Um, but they realized that it wasn't this toxic energy had to... I keep pulling these cards up because it's, it's telling me like 10 different stories here. But in a general sense, you know, this toxic energy does not beat happiness. Yeah, they could be toxic all they want. They could be immature. They could be flighty. They could be conflicting all the time. But it's only hurting them. It's only making, it's only making them do this. You know, it's just too much work. Alright guys, that was your reading Gemini. I hope it resonated for you, gave you guys some clarity. If it did, go ahead and like, subscribe, share to my channel so you don't miss any of my videos. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you. Namaste. Bye.